Hello, hello, more Dimmers here and welcome to another insane game between the engines and this time something different. First, I would like to show you the final standings uh, after the league was played uh, season 18. So as you see, Stockfish and Lila Chess Zero advanced to the super final. Uh, they play 100 games and uh, a lot of great games uh, and Stockfish won. So uh, Stockfish is a champion for season 18. However, look at the at the table uh, Ali Stein and other uh, engines are just behind just behind Ali Stein one point less than Lila Chess zero um, and didn't advance to the super finals because of course it's reserved for two engines however uh, Ali Stein also uh, produced couple of interesting games and this is one of these insane games so um, Ali Stein gonna play as black and the opponent uh, mighty Stockfish gonna play as white and this game is quite different than uh, what we've seen already but without further ado let's see what happened on the board Stockfish open with g3 and this is in the book and that's all only one move uh, was arranged in the book and now Ali Stein is on her own so we have d5 knight on f3 c5 bishop on g2 knight on f6 uh, and now castle so the idea of this is black tries to grab the center because white spent some time on the on the developing the fianchetto bishop and and making the castle so uh, if black plays something else then of course without the center white gonna uh, grab the center and uh, and have a lot of advantage so one of the ideas is to uh, grab the center as fast as possible we have e6 by ali stein and now d4 c takes on d4 knight takes on d4 and now e5 kicking the knight knight on f3 knight on c6 uh, uh, and look at this black already got the center however it's a completely unstable center and can be easily attacked um, and this position of course were, was rich many many times uh, c4 attacking the center d4 and now e3 so now the center gonna be completely shattered bishop on e7 e takes on d4 e takes on d4 and now bishop on f4 so let's see what just happened in this position white has this tricky bishop it's always tricky on this diagonal in king's indian attack especially where there are no pawns in the center uh, this bishop also supports the queen sign the most important these three pawns uh, are going to attack on the on the queen side against these two pawns uh, black has isolated pawn and is already passed pawn however it can be stopped very very easily so you see that already you see that already and it's very nice reference pawn to just compare what just happened uh, in just couple of moves we have castle by ali stein uh, and now knight on e5 this is still theory queen on b6 defending the the knight as the knight is attacked as you see twice so something has to be done about that but also attacking b2 but can this pawn be taken this is the question maybe it's the poison pawn uh queen on b6 was played we have rook on e1 already first trick um, on the board because uh, there is a serious threat knight can take the knight defender of the bishop and then uh, the rook can take the bishop what would you play in this position there are two main moves so uh, you can actually think what would you play uh, in this position the main move is actually knight on e5 uh, and after bishop on e5 just rook d8 supporting this pawn and continue the game so this was played uh, plenty of times uh, and also another move is bishop on e6 and this also is is very playable however ali stein plays queen on b2 so grabbing this pawn and now is the question is it the the poison pawn or not we have knight on d2 and uh, now this trick doesn't work because uh it's of course losing the 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 rook the rook is hanging so we have knight on d2 first uh, and now knight on e5 and here rook on b1 kicking the the queen and we have one uh, game in the database actually or maybe two games where uh, queen on a3 was played queen on a3 and after bishop on e5 uh, bishop on g4 um, and here we don't have that in the database but a very logical f3 move uh, would be made with the bishop on d7 uh, and after let's say rook on b7 bishop before pinning this knight 
uh, and after let's say bishop on f6 bishop a4 uh, the queen is under attack and also uh the best idea for white actually is is queen on b1 giving up this this knight because uh, this bishop is still hanging so uh and, and the knight has to be taken otherwise this bishop is hanging so uh bishop on d2 now this bishop can move so bishop on e7 with the attack on the rook and the queen pretty crazy stuff uh, so far queen c3 with the attack on the rook now and uh, and the game is completely uh, crazy and com and very complicated however the human played even more complicated line because uh, grandmaster uh, let me check the name grandmaster matlakov uh, play bishop on f6 and re it requires a lot of uh, very precise calculation because a lot of variations here i'm gonna show you just what happened in the game a bishop on f6 so giving up the the queen uh, we had bishop on d1 and now after bishop on e7 with the attack on the rook uh, and the queen rook f on e8 so not moving the queen but uh, going for this variation bishop a3 now rook e1 uh, and after knight on f1 white stands much better this bishop gonna come to b4 and pick up the rook and otherwise if the if the rook is moved then uh, this bishop can be can be taken of course a5 can be played but but white still gonna play something like bishop on b2 pick up this pawn um, and and win the rook or the all the bishop so uh, this already we know that queen on a3 was played but it's not really great because all this idea with taking the the pawn on b2 is not so great however ali stein has a completely different opinion here believe me or not queen a2 and now look at this rook a1 and the queen has nowhere to go because uh this way is blocked by the pawn the pawn is defended uh, also b3 is is you know controlled so the only way is to go to b2 however uh, first bishop on g4 attacking the queen and saying okay you take my queen i take your queen but stockfish just just watch at ali stein if if we can say that they don't see each other of course however played f3 and saying hey your bishop is hanging your knight is hanging your queen is hanging are you Mikhail tal or something what is going on here uh we have queen on b2 and now rook on e5 by stockfish and look at this move attacking the bishop this bishop is still hanging and also the rook can come to b5 and trap the queen on c3 how to prevent all of that ali stein said uh, i don't need to prevent all of that but look at this bishop on e6 so uh stockfish of course play uh, rook on b5 we have queen on c3 and now rook on b3 so it looks like ali stein actually blundered the queen however look at this we have b5 very aggressive move uh, stockfish uh, bring some extra defender um, to this pawn and maybe attacker on b5 because the queen is going nowhere it's still you know uh, all the squares are defended and uh, still queen is under attack has, has nowhere to go we have rook f on d1 supporting the pawn and now queen on b1 uh, by stockfish so queen is still under attack but now a5 very aggressive move and uh, and now stockfish decided to take the queen so we have rook on c3 d takes on c3 with the attack on the on the knight so knight e4 and now b4 do you remember about the reference pawn when i told you about uh, these three pawns uh, actually attacking on the queen side against these two pawns and uh, with the support of the bishop look at the position now three connected pass pawns okay there are no queen but three connected pass pawns on the queen side this is completely insane uh, the material wise is I don't know it's somewhere you know forgotten uh, so let's see what just happened we have bishop on d3 uh, by stockfish and now a4 ali stein doesn't care about all of these ideas the knight can jump uh, can win the pawn uh, can destroy the pawn structure all of this is on the board ali stein just push the pawns a4 we have knight on g5 as planned now b3 completely doesn't care about any threats 
just stay still and and you know uh, enjoy the attack we have bishop on h7 with check now of course the the knight cannot take because that would be a checkmate on h8 so king on h8 and now a knight takes on e6 so uh, this bishop which was very strong bishop very important bishop for this attack is taken uh, f takes on e6 the pawn structure is completely destroyed and now stockfish said okay uh, I got what I wanted, but now this is so scary. So bishop on c2, Alistair, uh, please take this bishop and, uh, and you know, and we can continue playing. And Alistair say 9, b2 with the attack on the rook. We have rook a2 and now a3. Look at this. Heavy pieces uh, are the blockers of the pawns. Can you imagine that? It's, it's pretty insane. And also the bishop. So the only uh, piece which is actually playing is this bishop on f4. Pretty insane stuff. And now uh, Stockfish actually recommends something like uh, bishop on e3, probably to prevent um, bishop on c5 uh, and after bishop on b4 uh, play g4. Uh, however, uh, Stockfish in the real game in this in this league game uh, play g4 immediately we have bishop on c5 and then king on h1 we have rook a on c8 very silent move and actually what do you think is evaluation of this position by stockfish so uh, this is the highest point in the evaluation and stockfish thinks is completely winning plus 3.8 plus 3.8 so stockfish is completely winning here however as you see the position is completely unclear what is going on here uh, we have queen on e1 attacking the pawn this is of course free pawn another free pawn there are also some ideas with the with the queen on e4 uh, you know taking the the knight and checkmating on h4 and finally this queen can come to h4 as well so uh it can be pretty dangerous uh, so very nice move and what would you play in this position because Alistair play e5 e5 and this pawn cannot be taken because if bishop on e5 then actually this bishop defended d2 very important square so rook on d2 can be played and now bishop is under attack so white has to do something about that because this bishop is the most important bishop of the game because it controls these two squares uh, blocking this pawn's advance okay otherwise that would be disaster so there are only two ways uh, to move this bishop bishop on f5 with the attack on the on the rook but then c2 c2 uh, Queen on h4 can be played by white and after king on g8, uh, let's say bishop on e6 with check, king f8 and it looks pretty dangerous, however uh, it's, it's not really because this is actually it's very difficult for stockfish actually to materialize uh, this initiative we cannot say the winning position uh, the evaluation is completely draw but only because the the white can deliver perpetual check uh, and draw this game so uh, bishop on f5 wouldn't be the best a uh, queen on b1 the problem is this bishop can be taken and this bishop as i said is very very uh, important for now bishop on b4 and what now uh, so for example if bishop on c3 sacrificing this this bishop is actually the move recommended by the uh, by the engine so bishop on c3 uh, black could respond two ways take this bishop or take this bishop so for example bishop on c3 uh, and then rook a3 so dismantling all of this crazy uh, three pawns um, and then after let's say rook on e8 trying to to win game this way probably bishop on d3 uh, so that's not possible anymore rook on d3 uh, and after queen on d3 rook e1 king on g2 uh, and then black actually can uh, advance to the queen and promote to the queen at least one and after queen on b1 rook on b1 let's say rook c3 crazy position because uh, white has three pawns uh, for the knight uh, however it's evaluated as a as a draw but i think white could try to 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 win that game uh, also uh, if the rook takes on c2 it's also very interesting because after queen on c2 
a rook on c4 and now uh, this bishop is pinned so probably rook on b2 uh, and after rook on c3 kicking the bishop taking the, the the rook queen on b2 rook on c4 and it's even more crazy because we have three pieces against the queen and two pawns and it's also evaluated as a as a draw just 0, 0.0 uh, so it would be very difficult to play but very interesting end game so uh, the bishop cannot really take e5 because stockfish not gonna win what if the queen takes uh, okay queen on e5 the problem is rook on d1 and i want to show you all the uh, tactical stuff here uh, why it's so important so rook on d1 and you cannot take the rook because uh, that's that is the promotion as the as the b1 is is not protected by any piece uh, the rook is under attack it's completely winning for black so it's not possible uh, this is why king on g2 would have to be played but now rook on c2 attacking this important bishop uh, queen f5 defending and also uh, creating very slow uh, mating ideas uh, however rook on e8 and let's say uh, bishop on d3 uh, controlling this e2 square very important so rook on d8 attacking and bishop on b1 uh, and then let's say rook on b1 uh, queen on b1 the game can continue however it's also considered as a as a draw believe me or not but stockfish says that's that's a draw so this pawn actually it looks like it can be taken but stockfish evaluated that's gonna be a draw and i want to win the, the game so we have bishop on g5 uh, and now it can be very unpleasant as, as i show you already this knight can be taken the queen can come here with the tempo or the queen can come with the tempo with the with the check this way and you know uh, make some nasty ideas here so king on g8 by ali stein very precise move not letting this tempo uh, and now h3 by stockfish so stockfish want to consolidate the the pawns a bit and then push f4 however ali stein has a different idea and play e4 and now it's even more crazy because this pawn again cannot be really taken for example bishop on e4 it's it's losing immediately because knight on e4 and after queen on e4 rook on d1 and i hope you already see that this is completely winning and uh, yeah white can deliver some check try to win some material uh however keep in mind that this rook is also hanging so uh this pawn would just win the game so taking with the bishop is not possible f takes on e4 it's a slightly better however after rook on d4 uh, for example you cannot take the knight because this bishop controls d2 which is very very important here uh, but maybe e5 uh, but now still knight on e4 and what you're gonna do it starts to be very very risky uh, to let for the for example knight to come to d2 and uh, so probably bishop on e4 rook on e4 uh, queen on e4 and now rook b8 with the threat of you know promoting so probably queen on b1 uh, but now c2 queen on c2 uh, promoting to the queen and now the point is you cannot even take that queen because after that it's losing okay it's it's, it's just losing uh rook attacks rook on a2 and of course this pawn cannot be stopped so in this position bishop would have to retreat to c1 uh, and now after let's say queen on b4 uh, queen on e4 some centralizing move and maybe controlling e1 uh, queen on c3 and white has two extra pawns however the position is considered as better for black this is the stockfish evaluation uh, this pawn is hanging uh, the rook gonna join the game and uh, maybe this way uh, for now the bishop is hanging and uh, why would have the problems to continue the game so as you see this pawn couldn't be taken on e5 and also can't be taken on e4 right now so uh, stockfish play bishop takes on f6 g takes on f6 and queen on e4 so stockfish gets some counterplay finally 
Uh, and let's see what black can do. Uh, rook on d1 actually doesn't work because the queen still controls the squares. Uh, if the rook is on b8, that would be a different story, but it's not, so that's not possible. Rook on d2 is also too early. Actually, white would win that very easily. Queen on g8, uh, king on f8, now queen on f6. Uh, and white, what white want to do is win this, uh, this rook and, and the game. So, for example, king on g8. Now, uh, queen on e6, very simple. King g7, a queen c8 without the tempo, so losing this bishop, and now it looks very dangerous. However, queen on d7, king on g8, now queen on e8, king on g7, queen on e5, and now the idea is to win the rook with tempo. So uh, king on g8, uh, and now queen on g5, and the king has to move, and wherever the, the king moves, the rook is gonna... Uh, fall as well and uh, white is winning that so uh, this is actually not possible to move the rooks that would be just too early so rook on c7 first preparing to double the rooks but the rooks also can work uh, as a defenders of the of the seventh rank uh, we have f4 by stockfish and now rook on d2 now is the the right time queen on g6 and now rook on g7 so rook can uh, actually uh, protect the king we have queen on e8 and now bishop on f8 queen on e6 with check rook on f7 and now bishop on g6 so a uh, bishop was under attack this is why this rook on d2 is very very dangerous but now bishop on g6 attacking the rook and now the checkmate is uh, very very serious uh, so Alistein has to retreat with the rook, we have rook on d7, uh, and now g5 by Stockfish, uh, f takes on g5, and what do you think is the evaluation of this position? Because for a very long time Stockfish was saying plus 3.9, I'm winning that, or plus 3.5, and so on. Uh, however, here Stockfish say it's dead draw, 0, 0.0, and nothing can be done. Uh, and he, instead of taking the, the pawn, which is possible, uh, play king on h2, which is also um, drawing. g takes on f4, now h4, making a space for the king. Uh, Alistein actually delivered the check, so rook on d2, king on h3, rook on d7, as this rook definitely needs need some care. Uh, and now c5, very interesting move, c5 giving... Uh, the pawn for free but it's very important to bring the bishop on c5 this is part of the plan uh, and now uh, stockfish says okay now is time to draw i know this bishop actually controls this square it's very very important however this is uh, just a draw my friend bishop on f7 rook on f7 queen on g4 and after king on g8 a uh, couple of times, threefold repetition, uh, and in this position, uh, we have a draw. So this game ended with the draw. Now you would ask uh, if Alistein maybe could, you know, escape with the with the king. The answer is not, because after queen on h5, king on g8, uh, queen g5. If king f8, now this bishop on c5 is a crucial here. So. Uh, White gonna take the bishop with check, uh, and now after let's say rook on e7, uh, queen on f5, and now uh, move the king or maybe move move the rook. Uh, if king on g7, then the point is rook a3, uh, and if black tries uh, let's say to promote because why not? Rook a6, and this is a mating net. So even you promote to the queen, this is not enough because now rook on g6 with check, king on h8, and now queen c8 with check, and that would be a checkmate. So uh, this is one way. Rook f7 also doesn't work because of queen on c8. And now if king on g7, this pawn gonna fall with tempo, uh, and another pawn is also gonna fall. And if king on e7 is probably even worse because that's again mating net so rook a3 uh, and after making the queen it doesn't help because queen c5 mating net is coming king f6 rook a6 uh, king g7 queen g5 and, uh, and yeah king h8 now uh, queen h6 first 
and after king on g8, uh, rook a8, and uh, all you can do is actually uh, drop the queen and uh, and get checkmated here. So uh, that would not work. So this is why uh, in this position we got the draw uh, because this king cannot just you know go to f8. So this is why we had the draw, but. This game was also insane. The queen and the, you know, sacrificing the queen or blundering the queen. I don't know how to call it. However, uh, let's call it positional sacrifice of the queen. And Ali Stein did really, really great in this game. Uh, had a, maybe not opportunities. Stockfish had everything under control. Uh, however, the material wise was you know from different planets so look at this these three pawns were strong as the with the support of one piece was as strong as the as the queen that's pretty insane so uh, i already covered three games uh, of this of this super engines and uh, in first one uh, in Rui Lopez, uh, peace sacrifice in move number eight, a very well known theoretical position. However, Stockfish was completely paralyzed, couldn't move the pieces and, uh, and, and lost. If you haven't seen that game, very crazy, very beautiful game. And also then another game, another game where Lila Chess Zero actually sacrificed the queen just to have, you know, um, the possibility of playing on the dark squares, weekend dark squares. That was also very, very crazy. Uh, probably the the one of the best games uh, ever played. It's, it's Immortal Engine Queen Sacrifice. So if you haven't seen that also, you can check over there. And this game, finally, it ended in a draw. However, as you see, completely, you know, imbalanced and uh, and it's very difficult to say if, if you would like to choose, you know, which pieces you would like to play, it would be very difficult to play. You would like to have these three crazy pawns or maybe the queen. Some grandmasters, you know, couldn't make the decision, you, you know, which which side to play. So, so very funny. If you like this video, press like. If for some reason you don't like it, press unlike. But drop the comment. What do you think about one of these three games? All of them were pretty insane. And I would like to hear from you because this is another game. And if you don't want to miss any other quality content, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.